we talk about the fact that hockey in Minnesota has been such a big part of both of your lives. You've been a part of big goals. You've been a part of big games, both as players and on the bench as coaches. And let's start just first with your connection. You guys have become very good friends on and off the ice. Where did that friendship start? We'll start with you, Bruno. When were when was your first interaction with Darby Hendrickson? Well, just playing together. Um, the first year with the Wild, especially, uh, you know, I know we went, uh, you know, some Christmas parties and, and those kind of things. I think we, you know, started building a friendship there. And, um, you know, we'd have the odd dinner on the road. And um, we got to know each other better and better as it got going, obviously. And, um, you know, went up to his cabin and, that kind of started forging a friendship that lasted, uh, you know, 20 years almost, unfortunately. But uh, it took a little while, obviously. You know, Darby was pulled in so many different directions of being a hometown boy playing for the Wild. And it was hard a little bit early to get to know him that while he was always, there's commitments. And obviously, um, you know, he knew everybody in Minnesota. So it was, it was a little bit, took a little while to, to build a friendship. But I think heading up to his cabin, um, getting away from the cities and, and from hockey, um, doing some fishing and, and being up there, you start to get, get to know him a little bit more personally. And, um, you know, from that it evolved and obviously coaching with, uh, Larry Hendrickson, um, uh, that one year, I think we, I got really close to their family. Um, you know, being from Sudbury, you know, not a whole lot of family in, in the twin cities. Um, they be kind, became kind of like, uh, my second family. So I think that's, we started building or felt like we, you know, we got really close then and it's carried on all the way through again, like I said, uh, going on 20 years. Darby, you're ready to weigh in now? Well, Bruno says I talk all the time, so sometimes <laughs> you got to listen. Right? <laughs> he says he says I talk too much and i got to listen more. Um, yeah, no, I, I think early on with Bruno when he came here, obviously we had the first year with the Wild, uh, and everyone in our state was excited, and, and Bruno came in here too. Uh, there was a number of players and key guys, and uh, – I think when Andrew came in, he had been different expansion places. He had been, um, you know, he had been in Atlanta. He had been in Nashville. And I think for him, he, he was, you know, he fit our group well right away. And uh, obviously he was an upgrade, I mean, in terms of talent. Um, the friendship part, like he said, it it probably it happened like on the road when you go out for dinner and stuff slowly. And then um, just the part of being teammates, that's that's the neat part. And our wives get to know each other, family, um, and things grow. and. Uh, you know, I, I think Bruno's always um, said he's enjoyed Minnesota. It reminds him not exactly of Northern Ontario, but has a lot of similarities to hockey, his culture. Um, and he's not only met, you know, obviously are all our teammates, but a lot of friends over the years. And, and I think that's what's, um, I think, made Minnesota special for Andrew. Andrew, you mentioned Larry Hendrickson, Darby's father, one of the big time great guys in the history of Minnesota hockey. What were some of your early impressions when you first got to meet Larry Hendrickson? <laughs> well, one of my favorite ones was just the first time I really, you know, met him. I was over at Darby's cottage and Larry had the cottage or cabin beside him. Um, and I didn't know that at the time. And I just saw a guy sitting at the end of the end of the dock in the, you know, in the Adirondack chair with big blue block sun blockers on and all oiled up and no shirt. And I'm like, who's this guy? <laughs> He's somebody I really think I really want to meet. <laughs> and there he is, that's my dad. I'm like, oh my God. So kind of went over there. <laughs> he was sitting with his two dogs at the end of the dock, like a kind of a policeman out there. So um, that was the first time I saw him first impression and, and uh, you know, it built a, a great relationship with them over those years. And, uh, be able to coach a Larry the year in uh, Donald, um, you know, was a great, you know, for me just to, to see, I was dying to see what Minnesota, you know, um, hockey was like at the high school level and be part of that process. And, and there's nobody to better guy to take you on the journey than Larry and um, learn so much as a coach and, and how you, you treat people and treat kids. So it was a real, you know, I probably wouldn't be coaching if I didn't uh, spend that, that winter with Larry. So it was, uh, you know, obviously it was a great experience for me.